In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct a regression with log transformation. We will use error rules dataset. It contains the characteristics of 1000 error rules. The variables are shown here. Just a quick reminder, all the datasets, questions, and solutions can be found in the description box of each video down below. Suppose we are running a regression with airfare as a response variable and the market leader and the distance as explanatory variables. First of all, let's check out the distributions of numeric variables. The plots show that the distributions of airfare and distance are skewed. This suggests that applying a natural log transformation to these variables might be necessary to ensure the model residuals are normally distributed. We can also check if applying a log transformation to both airfare and distance would help to linearize the relationship between these two variables. This is without log transformation, and it shows some nonlinearity in the relationship. After clicking on log x and log y, the relationship seems closer to linear. Let's apply the log transformation in the data transform tab. Select both airfare and distance, and from transformation type, select transform. Apply natural log transformation and save it to dataset. Let's go to linear regression page. Now we can run a regression with airfare loan as a response variable and market leader and distance loan as explanatory variables. The interpretation of the coefficient of distance loan would be different from what we did before. Here, the coefficient tells us that if distance increases by 1%, the airfare will increase 0.278 percentage on average, keeping other variable in the model constant. If you wonder why it is 1% increase instead of 1 unit, you can take the partial derivative of this equation with respect to distance. After rearranging the equation, Beta 2 is equal to the percentage change of airfare over the percentage change of distance. You don't have to know the derivative, but please make sure you understand how to interpret the coefficient. As we did before, you can also check the diagnostic plots for the model with log transformated variables and then compare the results to the dashboard for a model with airfare and distance in their original format. Thank you for watching. See you next time.